Hey, how's it going? I uh, decided to take a little bit shorter day from work today just because it looked like there was rain moving in. I couldn't see trying to get in the middle of doing some landscaping or something like that and then getting rained out. So the rest of the week looks a little bit better. Uh, so I'm putting some longer days the rest of the week. Uh, today I'm doing a, a quick unboxing video of I just through Amazon. I bought a, uh, I can't remember exactly which company it was actually put out by, but it was, you know, it, it shipped through Amazon. Um, but it's for eight Funko Pops, but they're damaged Pops. And from what I found from watching other people's videos and stuff, a lot of times damaged doesn't mean like they're trashed. It normally just means there might be a little crease in it, and all the corners might be... You know, the box might be messed up a little bit or anything. Um, but overall, what I've seen is they're actually still in pretty good shape. Some of them can look almost mint. Um, most likely, these are all going to be like just run-of-the-mill, you know, standard pops. I, I can imagine there being like exclusives or any chases in here. Um, but I, I guess, you know, it's always a possibility. But what I plan to do is because I actually want to get into, you know, up until now, I pretty much when I bought mystery boxes, I pretty much, unless I got duplicates, I kept all the pops that I got. Because um, there wasn't, like, specific ones that I collected. Well, I decided I'm going to try to come back from that a little bit. I'm going to start, when I buy boxes, I'm going to make a decision to keep, you know, like, if it's a, if it's a six pop box, then I'll I'll keep, you know, without looking up value or anything, just the two that appeal to me the most, I'll keep. And then the rest of them, I'll resell. Like this one, what I plan to do is I'm going to keep four of them. So I'll pick four of them out for me. Then I'll probably pick one out um, that I think my daughter would like um, out of the four that are left. And put one in her room. She don't have a lot of room at, well, at her mom's or at her boyfriend's house right now, um, where she's pretty much living. Um, but she's got a full room here. So, figure, you know, when I do one of these boxes, I'll pick one out for her and put it in and have a little collection here for her. Um, and then the other three that are left, no matter what they are, I'm going to resell. Exception to this would be. I mean, obviously, if there if there are a chase in here or exclusives, those will automatically be go into the four that I'm going to keep. So you know, if I open up, there happens to be two exclusives in here, no matter what they are, I'm going to keep the exclusives, and then you know, if there's two exclusives, then I'll pick two of the other ones that I want to keep, and so forth and so on. Um, but otherwise, you know, if they're all common, there are no exclusives, no chases, I'm going to choose four for myself, one for my daughter, and then I'll sell the other three. Once I make that decision, that's what I'm sticking with, and then I'll probably, I'll, I'll use the Funko app to look up and see what they're worth. Um, you know, the way I look at it is if I get lucky, the ones I choose are, have some value to them, then great, I've got some valuable pops to add to my, my collection. On the other hand, if the ones I'm going to sell actually have a decent value to them, then there's a better chance I'll actually be able to sell them quick and, and get some money out of them. So, it's a win-win. I undid the tape because they have kind of like a box inside of a box to make it big enough to hold eight pops. Um, so, I, I went ahead and used, actually I used my flathead screwdriver to undo the tape around it. So, hopefully I can just kind of pull this one out, maybe. I might have to do some more cosmetic surgery. We'll see here in a second. It's slowly inching its way out. Alright, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Alright, there's one. You have to keep the box though. Those are good shipping boxes. Stuff. Alright. We got some bubble wrap. I hold on to that too. 
You never know when you're going to need bubble wrap for something. Whether you need to ship something or whether you're just bored and you just want to pop them. Alright, so. And obviously, I guess another thing I should add is if there are ones in here that I already have, then those will not have to be sold. You know, if it turns out, if it ends up that I already have all eight of these, then I'll pick, in that case, say I'll pick out two of them that I think my daughter might want, and then I'll sell the rest. It, it's a crapshoot when you get one of these. You just you never know what you're going to get. So, first one out of the box is a Fortnite. I honestly, I've never played Fortnite. I'm not real big on Fortnite. I actually have a couple of Fortnite pops already. Actually, there's some of my pops that I have that I plan on just getting rid of some of them because, you know, I don't really, I'm not really into the stuff that they're of. Fortnite happens to be one of the, the things. I've never played it. I'm sure it's probably a fun game. You know, people will rave and, and, and rant over it, so it might be really good. I just never got into it. I mean, there is one pop from Fortnite, uh, the Ragnarok character, that I'm going to keep just because it looks fucking cool. This one I might actually keep, too, because she actually looks pretty cool. But I have one over there of Zoe, so Fortnite people know who Zoe is. I'm going to end up listing that pop on Mercari and trying to get some... Probably not for much. Probably like... I'll probably list it for like five bucks you know, plus shipping. Because I know it's not... Fortnite pops are not really have much value to them. Because they put out so many of them. Anyway, here we go. Here is the first one. This is Valor from Fortnite. Looks like kind of a warrior lady. So, for the box itself, um, it's got a little bit like right here on the the clear plastic part. You can see it's just a little like wear, either from being stored or from just being handled but other than that I mean there are no dents there's no creases um, you know outside of that little blemish on the the clear plastic it's in really good condition so I wouldn't consider that a damaged pop All right, next I don't really have I have got two I have two Game of Thrones pops. I have the Giant White and I have the Night King. Um, but here we have another one to add to. I have seen some of Game of Thrones. I haven't like binge watched all of it yet. I will get there eventually. Um, haven't got to it yet though. I work a lot. I mean, so yeah. I work like like last week. I put in like seventy two hours. In, in one week. So, I don't have a lot of time to binge watch stuff. But, anyway, here we go. There's from Game of Thrones. It says this is from Edition 7. So, they must have had six other series prior to this one of Game of Thrones, which stand to reason. I mean, there's a lot of fucking characters in that show. This was uh, I was trying to find to see where this actually came out. I'm not exactly sure how you read the stickers on the bottom. The box on this one uh, again I just I don't I don't see any damn well this back corner the back corner the very back corner right there has just a little bit of um, kind of like th threading or whatever you want to say on the cardboard all right so there's Cur curse I'm guessing that's that how you pronounce that is 
Curse? Is that right? Lannister? All you Game of Thrones fanatics can probably give me the proper pronunciation of that. That right now, I would say that that one right there is probably a, the forerunner for the one I pick out for my daughter. Um, she is a big Game of Thrones fanatic. Alright, next we've got Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. Always liked the Mortal Kombat. Always liked Mortal Kombat. I haven't kept up on playing like all the new as they bring out the new versions. But it was I always liked it. And odd minute. You know, some people will probably think well, I'm a heretic for saying this, but I actually enjoyed the Mortal Kombat movies. In particular, in the first one, the blonde that plays Sonya Blade. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, but I also like. I think they did. I, I think they did a really good job casting, it, it, especially the first movie. As far as the characters, I think they did an excellent job casting the people to play them. You know, Johnny Cage, Raiden. I mean, they did a really good job. Um, and I, I actually enjoyed the movies. I did. They could have been better. Sure. You know, I would love to see them come out and make like an actual like R-rated Mortal Kombat. You know, with fatalities and everything. You know, as gory as, gory as the video game. That would be a good movie. Um, but yeah. So there we go. Sub Zero. That'll probably that'll probably be a keeper for me for now because I don't think I have. I think I have Sub Zero. No, I don't have Sub Zero. I have Scorpion and Raiden, so that'll be a nice addition over there. All right. Next, well, this is this will automatically be one that I'll be selling because I already have it. There is Speed Racer. Box on this looks Yeah, so far I honestly I don't see where you know whoever is labeling these as damaged pops, they must be like real like nitpickers about the boxes. They must go over it with like a magnifying glass or something because I just don't see any damage. But, yeah. So that'll definitely be a sell because I already have one of them. I always did like the Speed Racer though. Alright, so that's four down. Four to go. Let's get the bubble wrap out of the way and pull the other four out. And what will we have in these? Will we have something good? Will they all be crap? Anybody's guess. There's the invoice or receipt. I ended up paying, I think, with shipping. Shipping and tax, it was $38.88. So you round up, say, 40 bucks. So. Basically, $5 a pop. It's not bad. All right. First one. Yep, well this one's definitely a keeper for me too because I have a number of these, but I don't have this one. So, cool. Of course, I'm going to have to move some stuff around up there so this will fit up there with the other one. And I guess I can move the iZombie one day. Well, yeah, because I'll be getting rid of it. I also have, like, Chandler from Friends. You know, Friends was a good show, but I really don't want the pops. So I'll, I'll get rid of that and Gloria from Modern Family. Another good, good show. I love the actress that plays her. Just don't want to pop. And then Kevin from The Leftovers. I've never even heard of Leftovers. I don't even know what that is. 
So I can, you know, I'll be selling those and I'll have more room over there and make TV pops so I can put this. But here we have 11. And this is the elevated where she's basically like floating. And her nose is bleeding. Yep. Box looks to be. I mean, it could stand to be maybe cleaned a little bit, the, the clear part of it. But overall, once again, I really don't see any damage on that. So, all right. So I've got my two. All right, next. This will be a keeper for me, too. Just because I have two of them, but I don't have this one. And I actually don't have this movie yet. I need to buy this movie. I keep saying that, and then I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Maybe next paycheck, I'll, I'll go buy this movie. This one's got, the back of it is slightly, I mean, it's not really dented, but you can see where it, it looks like it's had some weight either weight on it or it's been down on something that kind of bowed the back of it in just a little bit but here we go from Shazam we have Freddy so I'll probably hold on to this and what I'll what I might do is once conventions start up again if if they ever do you know at this rate who the hell knows let's hope so um, luckily, I've got enough stuff around the house that I can be easily entertained for, well, I mean, I've, I've basically been staying, other than work, I've been staying home all year, and I haven't gone stir crazy yet, um, but I'm definitely ready to go to some concerts and some conventions. So what would be cool is if the guy that actually plays Freddy in the movie does a convention, I'll take this and get it signed because off camera here real quick because in my BAM pop culture boxes that I subscribe to I got Pedro signed by uh, looks like Jovan Armand I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name. And then we got the uh, Darla one, and it is signed by Faith Herman. So, be cool to take that Shazam one to a convention and get it signed. Well, I know I'm keeping that one, so we'll just set it over here on top of the other ones right now. All right, so I have, uh, there's two left, so I'm going to pick one more of them, unless I already have both of them, but one more of them will be mine to keep, the other one will be a sword. Because right now, it's still looking like tape it's looking like the Game of Thrones one will be going to my daughter but now we have a conundrum well yeah now we have a little conundrum because here's another Game of Thrones this one does have now this I would call a damaged pop not the pop itself but the box it's definitely got the corner kind of banged up right there um, so that definitely hurt the value a little bit you know unless somebody's a really big Game of Thrones fan and they really want the pop then they probably won't really care especially because it's on the back you know, if you're like me and you keep them in the box and, you know, you put them to where you can see them like this, you're not really going to care about the, as much about the back. And if you're somebody that actually collects them, 
I mean, it's nice to get to when you collect things, when that stuff gets value. But I don't collect with the intent of, you know, trying to become a millionaire with stuff. I collect because I actually enjoy it because, you know, I'm still a kid at heart. So, so I myself, that, you know, something like that, if it was one going in my collection, that wouldn't really bother me. But, you know, the people that are out there that collect just to try to buy and resell and, and you know, strike, a, you know, strike gold over them, they would de be devastated by something like that. But here we go. I'm brain one. I know. Is that R, what is that? R, are you Stark? Sounds like what you'd ask uh, Robert Downey Jr., right? Are you Stark? And you say, why well, yes, I am Stark. Thanks for asking. Or as a, uh, or as Brody would have said, right? His name Brody, War Machine. Would have said, um, Stank. Yes, that's that's uh, Tony Stank. That's one of the funniest plays. One of the best cameos of Stan Lee. Was as the uh, the FedEx guy in that movie. I miss Stan Lee. He was a he was a genius. There we go. Are are you start? So I guess I I'll probably have to text my daughter and say, Hey, I got two Game of Thrones pops. I'm going to get rid of one of them. And I thought I'd put one of the put the other one in your collection here at my house. So, which do you want? And I'll send her a picture, and then she can pick which one she wants, and then the other one off. So, all right, last pop in here is yeah. This will well. So I'll keep one, two, three. Okay, so yeah. So my now my choice will be do I want to keep the other Game of Thrones that she don't want or do I want to keep this one. We've got Goku Ultra Instinct from Dragon Ball Z. I have a few Dragon Ball Z pops. It looks like three. Three of them over there. I don't have this one. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll keep I think I'll keep the Dragon Ball Z one. I kind of like how it looks. I do like Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I'm not a complete fanatic over Dragon Ball Z, but I do like it. So, yep. So the four that I was keeping, that I'm keeping for myself, are Freddy from Shazam, the Goku Ultra Instinct from Dragon Ball. Well, this is actually Dragon Ball Super. I apologize, I didn't look at the title completely. I just saw the Dragon Ball part, but this is the Dragon Ball Super. Which I'm told is different than Dragon Ball Z. I'm keeping the Eleven Elevated from Stranger Things and Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. So the one I choose for my daughter will be either, or actually, I should the one she chooses for herself will either be Arya Stark. Or Curse Lannister. So, and then two that are automatically going to be sold are Valor from Fortnite and the Speed Racer. So, if there's anybody still watching this video, my videos do tend to drag on a little bit because I have the attention span of a fruit fly. Which, that, that's kind of rude. Fruit flies might have an incredible attention span. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know much about fruit flies other than they're flies and they like fruit. 
All right, let's bring up the Funko app, and we will scan. We'll, I'll start with the ones that I'm actually keeping, and we'll look at value on these. So let's start with the Freddy Shazam. You're going to have to let me know. I mean, I haven't really heard a lot about that movie. It's been out for a while, I know. Um... But you have to let me know uh, how good of a movie it actually is, because I'm, I'm going to buy it regardless. But all right, Freddy, the DC Comics Freddy from Shazam is currently trending at seven bucks. So right there, first one out of the gate, I actually made more than what I technically paid for for the pop, because as I said, I paid just under forty dollars for the box. There was eight, so it's five bucks a pop. So made a little bit on that. All right, next we have the Goku Ultra Instinct form from Dragon Ball Super it is trending at nine dollars. Next we've got eleven. Elevated, Stranger Things, it's trending at $9. And the last one that I'm keeping, Sub-Zero, Mortal Kombat, is $9. So if you look at the four I'm keeping, 9, 9, 9, 27. What I say, that was 7, so 27, so 34. So basically, in just value, and again, like I said, the boxes are in, I would put it at near mint, is what I would I would call it. Because I didn't see any obvious things other than on the one Arya Stark box that has noticeable damage. So I would go with what the values are on here. And that's, you know, $34. So just in the four pops, I almost made back what I paid. All right, now let's go with the look at the uh, the Game of Thrones ones and see. You know, my daughter if she watches this video, although she probably won't see this video before I actually ask her ask her about them. So, Arya Stark is trending at eight dollars. So is it still currently available? It came out in 2019. Alright, and then the next one. Curse Lannister, which is still available, came out in 2017. It's currently about or trending at nine dollars. Alright, the Fortnite Valor. is trending at seven dollars and the speed racer is low man on the totem pole it's only trending at six dollars so so yeah so most likely the speed racer one I will probably I'll probably sell it for like five bucks. Maybe. Maybe I'll go four bucks plus shipping. You know, since I may I actually ha have a little more value in the pops I'm keeping, I can afford to knock a dollar off of that. Um, and like I said, the Valor one, since it was, I'll probably, I'll probably try to sell it for the same. Four dollars plus shipping. But that's it. That's the uh, damaged 8 Pop Funko box I got off Amazon. Um, again, I don't actually remember the company. Now it doesn't say.
I want to say that the company was like L. Eldrin or something like that, or Eldarin Corporation or something like that. I'm guessing it's a company that probably you know deals in like overstock or like it you know it does like surplus buys of of damaged pops and stuff like that and resells them. Um, they're out of New Jersey. Overall, I'm impressed. Like I said, I mean, overall, um, yeah, even even the low man on Total Bowl Speed Racer was still technically worth, currently worth a dollar more than what I paid um, when you, you split them up as far as what I paid for the box. So, hey, that's a win. I count it as a win. Well, that's it. Hey, everybody, have a nice evening. Um, stay dry. I don't know how much more it's going to be raining here around Ohio. Um, but I will uh, I'll see you again sometime. I don't know when. Probably, uh, I would guess probably my damn band box. My, my next band box. Not my damn band box. Right. That's it. So yeah. Uh,